Hey guys, it's me Joshua once again, and yeah, I know it's kind of been a long time, but let's just ignore that for now. As you may have already known, I'm going to be talking about Outlast the game. And if you haven't heard about Outlast, basically it's just a survival horror game that kind of takes a new approach to the genre. I initially covered it about maybe two or three months ago when the first trailer for it came out, and I was really liking what I was seeing from the trailer and the other details that I read online. And since then, it's kind of expanded into more of a well-known game. A lot of people have a lot of good things to say about it. Like, IGN loves it. You know, it scares the crap out of them. There's been, you know, footage broadcasted at E3 and other conferences that a lot of people have liked with the demo and everything. But today, specifically, I'm going to be talking about the release date. So, if you haven't have already guessed or seen, it's going to be September 4th, and it's going to release on Steam. On PC, of course, because that's what it is. But um, there is a PlayStation 4 version that has been kind of announced, but they haven't really released a date for the actual dropping of the game on that platform just yet. And you're wondering, oh, why are we talking about Outlast again? Well, Outlast is, from what I can tell, a really interesting game in the sense that it's a survival horror game, but you don't really have any weapons to fight back. You just have your camcorder because you're a journalist, right? And so, in that sense, it takes you and drops you in this place without any way to defend yourself. So it's really that true aspect of survival horror. And the reason I say that is because there's no way for you to do anything. Um, it really takes that sense of vulnerability and, you know, exploits it to the max. And I think that's really interesting. Apart from that, it has a really um, interesting, I guess you could say, background story to it. You know, he's basically in a sane asylum. That's, he's kind of investigating for a story, and he runs into trouble in there, and you know, he gotta get out. So that's basically all I gotta say about this today. I just wanna thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.